Mission Control. TSB 2023 is ready for launch at 0900. Countdown. In 5, 4, 3, 2, Well, that was a beautiful introduction. <laughs> Welcome to the video. My name is Agent Double Sonic. In this video, I'm going to be creating and kicking off a traveling sketchbook with one singular theme for all these various artists to interpret. And that theme, space. So there's nothing left to do but for me to get started on my portion of the sketchbook. Let's get to it. So before I start marking up this, right? What I want to do is I want to show you something. I don't think I show y'all in any of my other videos. What inspired me to do this wasn't this dot piece, which again, you saw last week's video and all the nonsense for it. I did this. I'll zoom in for y'all real quick. And I just, for some reason, it captivated me. I liked how this came out. I saw this and I was like, oh, that could be like a shooting star. And then, you know, you have someone like looking up at it. My little uh, character dude. But this was all the way on the back burner. This was in 2021, I believe. Dun, 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 dun. 2021, I think. Something like that. Anyways, whenever I got COVID. So instead of me scarring up that, what we're going to do on this paper here, my part, I'm going to test out some pens. We have the 0.5, the 0.3, and then we have the infamous, oh God. <laughs> The infamous point one, which I'm not going to use that. That's going to go away very quickly. Or maybe I use all three of them. Who knows? That's the beautiful part. We're just going to go ahead and get started. I did have a sketch that I did on my iPad for an idea that I had. So we're going to grab that. Going to grab some uh, pencils to sketch things out. I didn't want to jump right into the traveling sketchbook since it would be the first time I used smooth Bristol paper and there's no room for error. So, why not try it out on the Canson instead? The materials I used for this sketch was a regular sketch pencil, the Micron ink pens, alcohol-based markers from the Jazza Art Pack, as well as the color pencils. Now, I wanted to do this so I can see how my translation from my digital art to my physical art would work out. I also have never used a combination of ink and marker, and I found out that the marker goes first and then the pen, otherwise they'll smear, just like this. Another thing I noticed immediately with this sketchbook that I know isn't going to be an issue with the traveling sketchbook is that this paper holds medium very well and in this instance too well. When I was laying down the marker there was no give. It was there and that was it. But other than that I got the general idea as far as my colors for my markers and my pencils to bring this art to the traveling sketchbook. And now for the beginning of this sketchbook. The first steps of a journey that will travel thousands of miles. That will also buy other artists through tens, maybe even hundreds of hours of art. Here we go. My inspiration for the theme of this traveling sketchbook may have been the piece that I created of the moon, but the true inspiration came from my love of space as a kid. The actuality of space. It's just awesome the fact that there is an unfathomable amount of stars planets moons galaxies i mean come on telling eight-year-old me that someone left this physical planet earth with less technology than what we had in our house you know at the time landing on the moon the things that i needed to look at a telescope with to see details yeah had me hooked Fascinated, and even still to today, we are constantly learning, discovering so many things, and you know, to me, space, there's almost an air of magic, fantasy, sci-fi, you know, and yeah. So creating this spacecraft, leaving planet Earth, blasting off into the cosmos, into a sea of stars, meteors, moons, planets, galaxies, and so much more into the great beyond. Yeah. Now, 
made of nothing but cardboard and tape because eight-year-old me didn't know exactly what spaceships were made of, but I knew what cardboard and tape was. And, you know, just having the pilot, the astronaut, sitting in the seat in this spacecraft, leaving Earth behind to go so far and to return home, discovering so much, or just leaving Earth behind to go thousands of miles away and returning home to be back on planet Earth and finding things we discovered, saw, remember. Now, the smooth Bristol was so much nicer to work with than the mixed media Canson. And both of them have their advantages and disadvantages. For the smooth Bristol, the markers just glided across the page. The colored pencils blended and shaded with them so well. And this also goes in the fact that, you know, these are also curated to work together very well. I added the stippling to the background, and I'm glad I did, since it really pulled the piece together. And originally, I wanted to have this super clean and crisp lines, but after I did the outline roughly for the moon, it sold me that this entire piece, to really pull the youthfulness together, and this dream eight-year-old me had, I felt it would be done so well if I just add these rough lines. Everything was looking so Ethan, good. We have a problem. So I messed up. I messed up on the traveling sketchbook. I messed up on the one thing I didn't need to mess up. I gotta fix it. <laughs> and I gotta fix it and make it look better. Oh man. This is gonna suck. This is gonna really suck. Dang it. Okay, so what I was gonna do. This is Smooth Bristol sketch. Um, it says marker, pen, and ink. If I get some little... I'm going to get golden fluid acrylics. I'm going to get the white one. Pretty much this whole corner I have to redo. Oh, man. Okay, so we'll just... This whole thing is going to have to get repainted. But I'm going to have to test it. So, let's get our paints, a little palette, and go from there. So, there I was facing this ultimatum. Keeping the drawing, the first drawing in the traveling sketchbook, messed up. Or, do I jump off into the deep end of the pool and attempt to fix it with paint? I've gone too far and have taken too long on this project already. So, here we go. I grabbed the golden fluid acrylic titanium white, laid down the first layer, and it did indeed cover up the mistake. I went clean up a bit while the first layer dried. I came back, put down another layer, and I was hesitant if this paper would hold up. And it did, but now came to fixing it. I had to adjust the tails of the spaceship, the orientation of the thrusters, the rear of it, the paint. It took the sketching and erasing well, but what about coloring with the markers and the color pencil? It did and it didn't. Could not shake the feeling that it was ruined. But then it dawned on me. It wasn't ruined. The light from the moon and the flame from the exhaust, it illuminated the rear of the ship. And when I tell you the amount of relief that washed over me as I begin adding the final details. The stars, the stippling of the rest of the galaxy, the scuffs, the marking on the ship, and the astronaut. This truly was a journey, and for anyone that <laughs> is participating in this, or anyone that is watching this, it's okay to make mistakes. It truly is coming from me. Nobody's perfect. And there are many great phenomenal artists that make mistakes all the time. And I'm an amateur at best. I make mistakes all the time. But you learn from it. You grow from it. <laughs> I know I should have used the Seral transfer paper. I should have done a lot of things differently. But you know what? I think it came out 
very well. There's nothing left to do but show you the final shots of the traveling sketchbook. That being said, my name is Agent Double Sonic. Peace, love, and hot sauce. And as always, thanks for watching. Now let's see these final shots. All right, well, there we have it. It is done. The traveling sketchbook on my portion is done. The beginning of a saga of an entire thing that happens. Now, if the other creators, like I said in the video, want to make their own videos, cool, I'll tag them. I'll put them into the comments and everything like that. I would review each piece. Of course, I just want to see how they feel about it. And if they do, then I will do a quick review and I'll put it into the playlist that I will have in the description whenever I create it. But for the most part, it is done. Hopefully you enjoyed the very beginning of it. I enjoyed making that portion of it. Hopefully you enjoyed the entire video. If you did, do the YouTube stuff, you know, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. But in the meantime, my name is Agent Double Sonic. Pete Sullivan, hot sauce. It's been a long day. And as always, thanks for watching. All right. And if you look here, the traveling sketchbook page one of many artists to come is complete. And you know, I do have an artist in mind that this is going to go to. Actually, I have two of them because they are a beautiful couple. They are a beautiful husband and wife. So that's right. Jamie and Jennifer, the sketch prince and J.T. Leaf. This is coming your way very soon. So I can't wait to see what you have in store. And yeah, <laughs> you're going to put mine to shame so quickly. But other than that, I think this came out pretty well. I'm very happy with it. Woo! That was a journey. That was a whole journey. I didn't know if I'd be able to save it. Now, <laughs> if anyone that is watching that is participating in the traveling sketchbook, there's 17 others. It's okay if you make a mistake. <laughs> Trust me. I made many a plenty of mistakes. You saw the video, but hopefully you enjoyed that. It just, it's art, you know, <laughs> I had fun doing it and that's all that matters. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this entire video between the skit in the beginning, the video, the chaoticness that was the journey along the way. And yeah, if you did like subscribe, if you're into that kind of stuff and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, love, and hot sauce. Oh, and as always, thanks for watching. Everything off. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I'll tell the artist to sign the back, which I realized I didn't even sign the back of it. Um, I'm going to put mine right here. Let's see. Let's do this in pen. Yeah. So, that being said. There we go. Yeah. All right. Let's go to bed. <laughs>